So today I went to uh, Guitar Center and uh, I went into the Pro Audio section because uh, I need to pick up all the pieces for, not pick up, but I need to grab all of the necessary equipment so that I can have my mini studio because uh, Mikey's got a lot of music. <laughs> um, and I'm very excited about it. I opened up a Guitar Center card today, which means I don't have to pay for it for a year because I'm broke. Oh, something else that I did for myself. Um, I just recently uh, have blocked text messages on my phone um, because um, it's the lamest form of communication um, that we have. You know, every, every single text is up for interpretation. And uh, if you don't respond to somebody within a certain amount of time, people take it personally and you know <laughs> I miss it I miss the times when there was a busy signal you know <laughs> you couldn't get through to somebody because they were on the phone too bad go do something else move on in life you know and then we got beepers <clears throat> and we got cell phones and now text messaging and you know everybody is just text messaging and I was too I mean I'm not saying I'm not guilty of it but um and it's a danger you know all I do is text on the you know while driving and it ding 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 it just kind of interrupts everything and you know when you're sitting there talking to somebody and they're just down at their phone the whole time it's kind of like hello and I know I've done that so I apologize to everybody that I've done that to Lisa <laughs> uh, and everybody else pretty much in my life but I decided those times are over so I called AT&T no more uh, so don't take it personally I just I'm I'm going back to old-fashioned way of communicating, you know, talking. I mean, even with Facebook, it's tough, you know, because people write on my wall and they tell me, hey, I wrote on your wall, and I miss it because, you know, other people were on the wall too or something else happened, and I look, you know, a couple pages down and I find it, but, I mean, there's no, you know, there's nothing that buzzes me and says, hey, Mike, somebody wrote on your wall. I mean, I don't have email notifications like that because I would just go nuts. Um, you know, I don't need all those Facebook emails. But anyway... Um, I'm happy because I'm, I'm, I'm organizing my life and I'm, I'm kind of designing it the way I want it. Um, taking out all the annoying stuff and leaving in all the great stuff and making room for more great stuff. Um, you know, I, I also just want to say thank you to all of my neighbors here and all my friends and, you know, they all look out for me and, uh, They've been taking care of me. They've been, I mean, they check on me. I mean, it's so, it's so amazing. I have such a great family out here. Um, you know, people bring me food. Uh, you know, every time I need to use the bathroom, you know, somebody comes and gives me a hand. I know it's not the most pleasant thing in the world to uh, help somebody off the uh, toilet. You know, even if I am going to be, even if I am clothed, but uh, you know, they do it, and. Uh, it's nice because I get to go to the bathroom. You know, it's a nice, normal, everyday function that most people uh, enjoy doing. You know, they make it possible for me, uh, which is great because you know life does call from time to time, and you know, but I'm lucky. I'm really, really lucky. You know, I've, I don't take anything. For granted, you know, and uh, and I hope everybody that uh, that helps me out knows that, you know. I've been so afraid to ask for help for most of my life. Um, I just didn't want to do it. It was almost like if I asked for help, I was admitting that I was weak. Uh, and uh, I learned that asking for help doesn't admit that you're weak. It um, she shows that you're pretty strong you know even if you physically can't do something you're you know to get over your own ego get over pride you know that's a big step in in growth and uh when i started asking for help my whole my, everything in my life got better i mean you know i'm i had to i got to meet danny carey from tool um it, on a random night here in LA before I even moved here and 
I was with my manual wheelchair and, uh, you know, not my car, not my wheelchair, not my place. And, you know, we rented a car. Um, my mom went to the dealership, uh, the car rental place, and uh, she rented three different cars just so I could try each one of them just to see which one would be the easiest for me to drive because I really wanted to go to a Volto show um, and see, you know, them for the first time. And uh, <clears throat> I called up the baked potato and I said, hey, you know, is there somebody there who can give me a hand if I pull up in, in a car and I can't get out? And they said, of course, you know, no problem. So I drove, you know, the car, got there, called the guy, they helped me out of the car, and you know, they wheeled me over and, and locked my wheels because I was in my manual chair. You know, I was going to roll down the hill. And I look over and I see the guy who wrote, who, uh, excuse me, the guy who writes for the tool website, Blair. And... Uh, and I, you know, start talking to him, and we get into a conversation, and then, you know, a few minutes later, I get into a conversation with um, somebody who ends up being Danny Carey's girlfriend. Um, we had a wonderful conversation. We talked about everything, and went inside. I saw the show, and she introduced me to Danny afterwards, and, you know, we just kept on talking. I met Tim um, from 311 that night, too, and, you know, Glenn Sobel, a whole bunch of people. Um, and it was really a great, great night, and at the end of the night... Uh, I needed to get back into my car, and it was just me, Danny Carey, and his girlfriend, and the owner of the baked potato, so, you know, Danny Carey's girlfriend goes, you know, come on, Danny, we gotta get him in his car, we gotta get Mikey in his car, and, you know, Danny Carey's ro rolling me over towards my van, and I'm just, you know, sitting there like, wow, the, the drummer from Tool is wheeling me to my car, and then he gets there, and he goes... You know, he's a huge dude. He goes, how, how do we do it? And I'm just like, well, just, dude, just, just monkey toss me. And I, I don't really care. I was just so in awe that he was even in front of me, um, let alone that he was such a great guy and such a humble, humble musician. Um, and Danny Carey carried me into my car. And that's how I met him. And, you know, I've seen him a whole bunch of times since, since I've lived here and, you know, his girlfriend as well. And, it's just, uh, I don't, I would have never met him. I would have never met Tim. I would have never met, you know, anybody had I not just taken that chance and asked for help. <laughs> the old me would have never done that. You know, I think I would have been too afraid to just rely on somebody and not be able to push myself and say, okay, you know, screw it, it'll go anywhere. But uh, that was, that night was proof to me that, you know, you take a chance, you're going to get really rewarded, you know. He gave me a shirt and, you know, just such a great experience. Um, and then I went to Vegas that weekend and I won $1,000 off of four slot machines. So, you know, <laughs> I took a bunch of chances and I kept on winning. So you never really know. You never really know at all. But uh, sometimes life is really, really good. And uh, all you have to do is just, I don't know, be open. I guess, be open to some things. I mean, I mean, Danny Carey, come on. I, mean, I had some of my friends visiting and, you know, they actually turned into little schoolgirls when I took them to a Volto show. It was really cute. Um, anyway, <coughs> it's 2.45 now. <coughs> I'm going to edit this out. Put it up. I'm wired because I drank too much coffee. Um, I'm going to set up my recording equipment tomorrow. Really, really excited about it. And uh, hopefully start to make some music now. Uh, put some up on the, on the website as soon as I uh, get some going. Give you guys a little preview if you're interested at all. But, uh, yeah. Feeling good. Getting my life back in order. The last couple months were a little weird. I'm not going to lie. You probably didn't see much of me. That's why. Uh, all right. You guys. Thank you all for being a part of my life. It means the world to me.